We're talking about the kingdom. And in order to have a kingdom, you have to have a king. And we have a great king. The Bible tells us that Jesus is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. It says in Revelation chapter 19, verse 16. In Luke chapter 1, verses 32 and 33, it says his kingdom will have no end. And in Romans 11, verses 33, 36, it says this, Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and the knowledge of God. How unsearchable are His judgments. How unfathomable are His ways. For who has known the mind of God? Or who has become His counselor? Who has first given to Him that it might be paid back to Him again? For from Him and through Him and to Him are all things... To Him be glory forever and ever. Amen. What that's saying is that there's nothing we go through that our King is not aware of. He is aware of all things. And because of His love for us, and because He knows all things, He chases us down, and in His love, He's able to do things for us. Matthew 28, 19 says, He has all authority over all things in heaven and on earth. So His great love for us, and His great concern for us, and His knowledge of all things to us, also His authority over all things means that He can help us more than any other thing that we search for in life. All the things that we go through are important to Him. Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 through 21 says this, For this reason I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name, that He would grant you, according to His riches and glory, to be strengthened with power through His Spirit in the inner man so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, and you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ, which surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled up to all the fullness of God. Now to Him who is able to do far more abundantly, beyond all that we ask or think, according to the power that works within us, to Him be the the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. To all generations means he has no end. He won't run out with one generation and not have enough for the next. He is with us. He cares. And our king is an amazing king because he is always there and he'll never run out.